Esperm EPM Simplified. Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to integrate NetSuite with NSPB and streamline your financial planning, you're in the right place. In today's video, we'll show you how to integrate NetSuite with NSPB using the powerful NetSuite EPM Connector Suite app. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use the Suite app to connect your NetSuite data with NSPB, enabling seamless financial reporting and planning. So, let's jump right in. Before we get started with the integration, let's quickly go over what NSPB and the NetSuite EPM connector are. NSPB is a powerful financial planning tool that helps you optimize your budgeting, forecasting, and reporting. It's designed to integrate smoothly with your ERP systems to provide actionable insights and real-time data. On the other hand, the NetSuite EPM connector is a suite app that helps businesses integrate their NetSuite data with external EPM solutions like NSPB. This suite app simplifies the data integration process by mapping data from NetSuite into NSPB, ensuring that your financial planning and analysis are always up to date with the latest information from your NetSuite account. Before we dive into the integration process, here are a few prerequisites that needs to be checked. NetSuite account with administrator access. Enabled features required by the suite app in your NetSuite account. The NetSuite EPM connector suite app installed in your NetSuite account. Proper permissions for both NetSuite and NSPB integrations. To install and set up NetSuite EPM connector, you must use the administrator role and complete the following steps. Enable required features. To enable the features required by the suite app, go to setup then select company. Under setup tasks select enable features. Click on the suite cloud subtab and check the boxes, custom records, client suite script and server suite script. Then click on save. Install NetSuite EPM connector suite app. To install the NetSuite EPM Connector Suite app, from the right-hand side drop-down select the Suite Apps tab. In the Search Suite Apps field, enter NetSuite EPM Connector. Then select the NetSuite EPM Connector tile and click on Install. Wait for the installation to complete. Install Planning and Budgeting Sync Suite app. To install the NetSuite Planning and Budgeting Sync Suite app, go to the Suite Apps tab and search Planning and Budgeting Sync. Select the tile and click on Install. This shall enable you to view saved searches from your NetSuite account as explained earlier in our video on NetSuite and NSPB connectivity. One big advantage of using NetSuite EPM Connector Suite app is that it enables us to connect to multiple EPM applications like NSAR, Consolidation Management and Close and Tax Reporting. Once the Suite apps are installed, we shall set up role permissions for NetSuite EPM Connector that enables the user to perform the following tasks. Setting up file encryption password for NetSuite EPM connector. To set up a file encryption password, go to NetSuite EPM, then select EPM connector and then click on file encryption password. Enter a new password then click on save. You must use the administrator or NSEPM implementer role to create a password for encryption of CSV files that are sent to data exchange. The password must comply with the following password requirements, has exactly 16, 24, or 32 characters and contains one or a combination of the following character types, uppercase alpha characters, lowercase alpha characters, numbers, and non-alphanumeric ASCII characters. Scheduling the script deployment for NetSuite EPM connector. To schedule the script deployment, go to Customization tab, then select Scripting and then click on Script Deployments. From the script filter, select NSEPMSS Cleanup. Click Edit next to the script deployment. On the Schedule subtab, set the start time and set the repeat field to every two hours. Then click on Save. Data Source Allow List. If you want to use NetSuite searches in Oracle EPM Cloud products, you can place prefixes of the search IDs on an allow list. To place a search on an allow list, go to NetSuite EPM, then select EPM Connector and then click on Data Source Allow List. From the EPM product list, select Planning and Budgeting. Use the predefined saved searches with the Planning and Budgeting Sync Suite app. The prefixes are Custom Search underscore NSBB underscore 4 Saved Searches and Cus Dataset underscore NSBB underscore 4 Datasets. Then click on Submit. Role permissions for NSPB Sync and NetSuite EPM Connector. In Search, enter the employee to whom you shall assign the role. Under Access Subtab, in Roles, add the Roles NSPB Integration and NSEPM Implementer. Then click on Save. Create default saved searches for planning and budgeting. 
To create default saved searches for planning and budgeting, go to NetSuite EPM tab and then from planning and budgeting, select manage saved searches. Click on create default saved searches. Then under saved search group, select NSPB data saved searches. Then select mark all. Follow the same process while adding saved searches for NSPB metadata. Then click on submit. Set up NSPB integration. To set up NSPB integration, under Setup tab, go to Integration, then Manage Integrations and then select New. Enter the name as NSPB Integration. Uncheck the boxes TBA Authorization Flow and Authorization Code Grant. Then click on Save. Once the integration is set up, it generates a client token and secret that shall be used while creating connection in the NSPB application. Create Access Token. To create Access Token, under Setup tab, from User slash Roles go to Access Token. Then select New. Select application name that is the one we have created earlier as NSPB integration. Select the valid user and select the role as NSPB integration. Then click on Save. This generates a token ID and token secret that shall be used while creating a connection in NSPB. Create connection and update applications in NSPB. From the NetSuite Planning and Budgeting Application homepage, go to Data Exchange from the Navigator. From the Actions drop-down, select Applications. Click on the Connections icon then add a new connection as NetSuite. Select Consumer Key Type as Custom and Connector Type as EPM Connector. Use the Token ID and Token Secret that has been generated earlier. Then click on Test Connection. Once the test connection is successful, click on OK. Then go to Applications from the Actions drop-down and select Update Applications. Select the type and connection as NetSuite and provide a prefix for the saved searches. Then click on Update Applications. This completes the integration process between NetSuite and NSPB using NetSuite EPM Connector. Now you shall view all available saved searches as well as import data and metadata from your NetSuite account. If you find this video helpful then please do like and subscribe to our channel. For any queries reach out to us at support at Thanks for watching.